Return on Invested Capital. This is probably one of the best investment analysis tools out there. A lot of investors like to look at the book value, the price per earnings or the price per revenue of a business. But I think in my opinion, looking at the return on invested capital is one of the best metrics to be paying attention to. The return on invested capital is basically the the money that the business is able to generate on the income that it's retaining in the business and as well as all of its borrowings. So very nice to see how this business is utilizing the funds available to it to make money or compound the value of the business. If you identify a business that has a consistent return on invested capital of 20% or so, then that's a business you want to hang on to. Put your money there and just you know put it away for a really long time because it's going to do really well. So usually when a business has some advantages uh, in terms of, you know, a mode, a uh, unique business advantage over the industry, then you're going to see those kind of ROIC numbers. You need really good managers to be able to focus on this, to strategize and work out the best ways of compounding that money for the investor, for the shareholders. The return on invested capital is better than the return on assets because in my opinion the return on assets can be manipulated um, by you know just reducing the the amount of assets being held by the business that would automatically up the return you're getting on that asset value so return on invested capital is for sure the best analysis metric investment analysis metrics that are available to an investor